Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Nan. I listen to the beat songs, comeback songs, and songs I never heard of for the first time with you all. I like to dance the K-pop and J-pop, so if you want to check out my projects, it is here in this channel. I like to do that for exercise. I'm also learning how to vlog and learn Japanese at the same time, so I'm monthly Japanese vlogs if you want to see my simple life or learn the language with me. Lastly, I have another channel called Yang Can Start a Cook, where it's I try to bake food and cook food, but also share what I eat in a day and talk about different snacks, foods, drinks, and restaurants with you all. So if you are interested in any of these, these are my hobbies. I place them here to share. And so yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And I just am very grateful for all the support or even just visiting for the first time. Today we're listening to a comeback by Billy. They have a lot of interesting concepts and currently, at the time I'm watching it right now, 19 million views. That is so awesome. And so I'm really curious what this is all about. The name of the song we're listening to is Dang Hocus Pocus. So I think this was like a Halloween theme, but you know, I have so many songs, I am a bit behind, but it doesn't matter when you listen to it, whether you listen to it during summer, spring, I don't know, right now, it is okay. So I'm curious as there might be some spooky things, right, but also cute, um, magical things to enjoy as well, and probably um, maybe another character, um, or really catchy parts to it too. So yeah, I don't know until you watch it, but new viewers, I want to let you know I watch the whole thing first before I talk about it, and would love to hear your thoughts in the comments too. Without further ado, let's check out their comeback song right now. We're going to just... Head for it, Billy's dang hocus pocus. Looking at you, looking at me, when you jump your hand in again. I'm thinking about you, thinking about me. I think it's in the end. More this again, question mark. Come on, can't you take it? Baby, say, for the DOJ, the Dota Mola. What am I? Who am I?
got lots of fun things to see, not necessarily Halloween related, but a lot of Macintosh going on. Back to the old days. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the beginning, as I actually have a lot of questions. Not sure what really happened in the MV. I mean, lots of things, but like completing it or turning it into a theme or storyline, I struggle a bit. So help me out, but I'll share the parts that I noticed with you all. So, Macintosh, before Apple, I guess, if you will, I grew up with these screens and I highly, highly, really, really disliked it. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, good old devices. And then we were just everywhere, kind of teleporting to various places. I thought they were uh, detectives at first, just with the outfit and kind of like investigating, but they weren't at least, so I thought. And then there was just lots of little things to see in the back, like at the drive through the menu was the MBTI, like your personality test or something, and then we're just hopping by everywhere. We have this Rubik's Cube that was kind of in play, probably important, not sure how um, it relates to everything, so I'd love to hear your thoughts too. The song was very catchy, especially da 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 my key a little off, but um, the dance looks really fast, especially the chorus part, but overall it's very fun, and I thought it was detective just because of their hats and outfits, but then I thought maybe it's like the season, you know, fall and autumn instead. Um, but anyways, it looked really fun, exciting, they were everywhere, um, everyone had the time to shine, and they stood out, loved the lighting and different outfits they had, this is more the cool one, and then the other one is more like um, similar styles. But I wasn't very sure when I saw this post, I was like, yeah, that's me right now. Right now. Like, I'm kind of lost of what's happening, like lots of fun things to enjoy and see, but how did it all come together? Like, I'm not sure. So I'd love to hear your thoughts too and just share your input as well because there's kind of like a lot of irony in some ways, like the arrows are going this way but they're going the opposite direction. So just a lot of things to think about and this, um, I feel like there's something important about it but I don't know, please have help me out as I um, try to put the pieces together. Uh, but then we come back into this place, a yellow theme outfit if you will, and then there's these puzzle pieces, right, two, four, six, seven. Um, I guess maybe we were in different locations, like we were by the house for sure, but I'm not really sure um, if we put the pieces together or not, or it's a new storyline and they're putting pieces together because there's only five girls but seven parts and so I wasn't sure how to put them together. Um, but like I said, very fun, catchy, uh, lots of questions and a lot of, lots of things to think about which can make the envy fun too. And I also noticed the moon with the different phases. Not sure if that's, ha um, if that's something important too. Perhaps since the moon was kind of the main thing um, with the girls. So I feel like there's something going on, but I'm not quite sure what will happen next. So yeah, it was enjoyable, like I said. Very fun, catchy. I see why there's so many views. And it's just um, refreshing in how they cooperate or put things together into this MV. There are some things that you are like familiar with, but then they surprise you with something else with it too. So yeah, share your thoughts below. Continue to support Billy. Enjoy Dang Hocus Pocus many more times, and I will see you in another video. Thank you. Goodbye.